Hi, welcome to another episode of upgrading my 3D printer. This time I will mount the end stops, do some cable management and finally some test prints. Now it's time to do some movement tests. Let's start with x-axis test. Now y-axis test. And finally, Z-axis test. Oh, it's not good. The left side is not working properly. There's something wrong with the left side of the Z-axis. This is really bad news.
It appeared that the left x-axis idler is badly printed or I've damaged it during assembly. But I've just added two washers to the one of the screws of the T-nut and it solved the issue. One of the unexpected advantages of upgrading my printer is better access to the back bed leveling screws. Now it's really easier to adjust that because I have more room here. After upgrading my printer, it is obvious to make some test prints. Uh, I've started with uh, this test cube. It should be 20 millimeters by 20 by 20. Mm. So let's check it.
Okay, so let's like check the x direction. Pretty good. So it really depends. When I'm okay, so in the y direction, let's and in this. <coughs> As you can see, it is the worst dimension is the z-axis, so it means the height of the cube. It is because it is because there is a elephant foot all around the cube at the bottom. So the bed wasn't properly leveled and the nozzle was a little bit too close to the bed level. So if you are going to print the test cube, it is wise to print it on the raft to measure the proper z-axis distance. Another test print is a phone case for my smartphone. It is printed in green PLA. I've already managed to break it. The print came out pretty okay, but the right upper corner did not stick to the hotbed and also overhangs did not come out great. Other than that, it works and looks great in the Shrek green color. Another items I've printed after upgrading my printer are those fun ducts. This is the original one. In my case, it is a little bit too short. When I turn on the cooling, I cool my nozzle about 20 degrees, which is a little bit too much. So I printed this one and this appeared to be too long. I've measured it wrong. So now I decided to print this one. In fact, it's also too short because it is almost like this one. So it cools the nozzle too much. So now I am then seeing another one like this, but a little bit shorter than this one and a little bit longer than this one. So I will update my Thingiverse Remix and include this file if I get the height right and if the cooling will be all right. As you can see, the Bridging here and here are not so great, so I really need a good fan duct for this. Thanks for watching! My printer is finally upgraded and it works! More videos coming soon, so be sure to subscribe so you can watch more prints made by my Prusified A9A6.